Now that's what I'm talking about. As I speak, I'm going to ask the white Americans in the room to please repeat after me. <clears throat> on behalf of myself and on behalf of my country, To you and all African Americans, from the beginning of our nation's history, in honor of your ancestors and on behalf of your children, please hear this from my heart. I apologize. Please forgive us. With this prayer, I acknowledge the depth of the evils that have been perpetrated against black people in America. From slavery to lynchings to white supremacist laws to the denial of voting rights to all the ways, both large and small, all of them evil, all of them wrong, for all the oppression and all of the injustices, I apologize. Please forgive us. Ms. Williamson, you are the one who gets an approval from the woke brother leading a prayer of all your white people apologizing to my black people for the injustices that you perpetrated somebody woke up now next time you lead a prayer make sure you say it in a way that everybody can follow along because when it came down to talking about the injustice against black people somebody skipped over that prayer because it was too long to try to repeat when you lead a prayer, you got to make sure you say it right so everybody can say every word that they need to say. So there's some people in there, some white people on there who had their hand on black people who didn't truly apologize for the injustice that was done to black people. They skipped over it. I can appreciate you apologizing to those black people. But let me tell you something. You're not out to clear yet. No, ma'am. Not by a long shot. See, putting your hand on a black man's shoulder and black woman's shoulder isn't enough to repay us for what we've gone through. There need to be some money given. Did y'all throw up an offering? Y'all should have took up an offering. Then everybody in there should have been giving. Everybody who had a hand on a shoulder should have been given some money. Paying for the emotional trauma that my people have gone through. That's what you should have been doing. And let me tell you something else. All because you led a prayer in that location. I still ain't got no memo. Ain't nobody emailing me talking about they are sorry for the whiteness. Where my email at? I want a hand laid on my shoulder. Where you at? At least you tried. You tried. But didn't we tell you that y'all don't have a say in the reconciling love between blacks and whites. You need the approval of the black community, not a black room. Make sure you pay attention. The black community, instead of leading that prayer inside of a building, you should have been on the mountaintops. You should have been at the Capitol telling the world to lay their hand on every black man, boy and girl and say, I'm sorry for being white. I'm sorry that my existence has caused you pain. That's what you should have been doing. You should have been saying, I'm sorry that I didn't recognize the gift of your black skin in front of me. I'm sorry. That's what you should have been praying. Now for the rest of you white people out there, you can learn something from Miss Williamson. You can learn something from her. Take some notes. I hope you was jotting them down when I was playing the video. Take some notes. It ain't too late for you to apologize too. It ain't too late for you to lead a prayer. So wherever you are right now, stop what you're doing. 
Stop what you're doing right now. Stretch your hands to this computer screen. And I want you to pretend that you're laying your hand on me. And I want you to apologize. I want you to say you're sorry for the wrong that you caused me. For the pain, for the trauma that you caused me. And you say, I ain't did no problem to you. I ain't did no, I don't even know you, man. Save all that. The fact that I'm black and the fact that you're white, that's enough. You've done enough. Stop making all these excuses and do what you're supposed to do. We waiting. So next time one of you decides you want to lead a prayer in your public location, make sure you got some money with you. Come correct. Don't come at all. But don't you fret, Ms. Williamson. It ain't too late. It ain't too late. The next time you decide you want to apologize, you just make sure you look up a woke brother. <laughs>